Hi, this is Pam Schmidt, Pam Schmidt TV, Chemical Minimalist. Hey, I'm a school teacher. I'm stuck at home these days because of being social, the social distancing situation. So I don't have my kids uh, in my classroom that I'm in contact with right now. I'm looking at ways that we can boost our immune health. And I just listened to a webinar from Dr. Axe, who I respect highly, and he gave a lot of tips on things that detract from your immune system, as well as things to boost your immune system. Some important points that are easy to do without having to go shopping for stuff would be these. First of all, limit your screen time, TV, phones, computers, tablets. It's good to use it a little bit each day, but we really need to limit it for a number of reasons. First of all, there's blue light that comes off of the, all of those devices, kind of goes through the eyes and, and impacts our immune system in negative ways. Um, the, uh, another reason we need to limit our screen exposure is because we're being too sedentary, we're sitting too much. And the newest phrase is, sitting is the new smoking. Am I saying it right? <laughs> um, so we need to use this time of being uh, limited to our homes, but we also need to be getting out and walking a bit. Whether you're doing it in the home or doing some exercise in the home, we need to get that going, that activity stimulates the brain, stimulates the body, and the immune system is boosted. If you can use that time and get outside for about 20 minutes a day in daylight, limited exposure to others, you will be getting some vitamin D that really helps with immune health. So that turning off screens, getting outside in the sun will really do a lot for you. One other important point that Dr. Axe brought out is our words can be a medicine or a poison. We can speak positivity, hope, faith, encouragement to others. It's, the alternative is we can speak negativity, illness, inflammation, possibly even death with our words. It's really easy right now to watch a lot of news, too much news, and it just can drag us down. Well, guess what? That comes out in our words. Dr. Axe says that our immune health and our words can be contagious and Im impact others either in a positive immune way or a negative immune way. We must use our words carefully. So with those people that are in your home, apartment, wherever you live, use the positivity. Speak to them in a way that is encouraging. If you can't think of anything else to say, reminisce on special times you've had together. Old stories, jokes, those things that will lighten everybody's heart. 